Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I try to hook up one of the octopus arms to a couple servos. Barb Makes Things! As a reminder, I'm trying to get the cable controlled arms working first. At the end of my last video I realized that the legs of the servo stand would get in the way of the wires. So I redesigned it to make the two side legs split outwards and attach to the walls of the ring rather than just the base. stand with screws so that it's still removable. Placement looks good, and then I removed it immediately to install the servos. I used my pin vise to make very small pilot holes to screw the servos into the stand. and added my fancy servo horns. Put an arm in and formed a loop with some ball chain. An unexpected benefit of this new stand design is that now the servo stand attaches to both the base and the ring so I can get it in place and then remove just the base or just the ring to access and play with the mechanism. Which is good because it would be nearly impossible to get in there otherwise. For this mechanism to work, the chains have to fit tightly into the drive pulley, which is tough to do. If they aren't tight enough, you get this weird stuttering movement. I wound up removing one of the wires from the end of the arm so I could tighten it from the outside, which helps. This is a little fiddly. The chains are inclined to slip off the drive wheels, which isn't exactly a desirable trait in a complex mechanical creature. I think I need to either adjust the location of these pulley wheels or make tunnels to guide the wires to exactly the right position or both. alternate mechanism that might be less inclined to fall off is something closer to a bicycle chain and sprocket, but I'm not certain that that would actually be easier to create in this little space. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more and see if I can get it more reliable. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, I'm not sure how you got this far because like this is the end of the video. In any case, thanks for watching. Have a great day.